Well, it's always great to be honored, and lately many are getting a letter saying just that. Gene Haynes is here from the Better Business Bureau with a warning about a letter to join the society. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing well, thanks. So this is something that comes in the mailbox, not your email, but your actual mailbox. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's about a 13-page letter. It mm -hmm. comes in this lovely red, white, and blue envelope. Mm -hmm. Makes you think it's a little bit patriotic. Yeah, it gets your attention, maybe. It does mm -hmm. get your attention. Mm -hmm. And if you were to receive this letter yourself, you would find out that you have been chosen, Ooh. one of the few, to be part of the society. Well, it turns out it's not really one of the few, though, right? Because no. I think a lot of people are getting this. <laughs> a lot of people. It's estimated that about 200,000 of these mm. top secret invitations are being sent out all the time. Mm -hmm. And when you get the letter, you're not supposed to tell anyone about it. Shh. Yes, <laughs> and the individual that has sent it to you also cannot reveal their name mm -hmm. on the advice of their attorney, but they are, and everything I say now is quoted from the letter, mm -hmm. they're in the upper echelons of power and wealth in our country. Okay. So that's important for you to know. Yes. What the letter is asking is for you to accept an invitation to be part of this society, and when you do, you will be sent the world's most shockingly awesome secrets. Yeah, well, it kind of turns out that these secrets really aren't that, like, okay, I think maybe these are some uh, common sense things, right? <laughs> well, they are, but what they promise is that they promise that they're going to allow you to attract money, mm -hmm. power, and uh, wealth, wealth. Mm -hmm. like a magnet. Yes. And also, you'll be able to control anyone, anytime, anywhere, you'll be able to render people completely helpless, mm. and your influence will know no bounds. Wow, okay, this is a really, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. The interesting thing about this is if you read the letter cover to cover, back and forth, which I have a number of times mm -hmm. to my detriment, but it's really fairly hypnotic. Yeah. The language that is coming forth in the letter, it makes you think that you kind of aren't anyone, and you're being asked to become someone okay. special, and then if you agree to become part of this society, you're gonna be sent secrets that will allow you to attain anything that you've wanted. Mm. Very easily, all from the comfort of your own home, which is very interesting. The, the catch is, though, you gotta send some money somewhere, right? Well, initially, your invitation is free, mm -hmm. so you check the box. You get that this says, thing and you check the box. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of yep. what it looks like. That's exactly, yep. you mm -hmm. accept the invitation. Mm -hmm. When you accept the invitation, within a couple weeks, you get a 55-page manual. And within that manual, there's a lot of stories about people who've gone from rags to riches overnight. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there is an offer to allow you to buy more secrets mm -hmm. in a top secret manuscript. Okay. And that's only $140. Yeah, okay. Now, when you do some online research, there are a lot of people who have received this letter, mm -hmm. and there are reviews that say they've gone through the whole path, and then they get invitations to buy a book, and mm -hmm. then another book, sure. and you're always sending some kind of money mm -hmm. in hopes that you're going to eventually get that secret mm -hmm. for the wealth and the power, mm -hmm. and <laughs> maybe to control the people yeah. that you'd like to control. Yeah. But um, much of the research shows that this information is coming from an organization called NeoThink, mm -hmm. which is a little bit difficult to find. Mm -hmm. The envelope that you get, you're supposed to send your uh, response back. The envelope goes to Utah. Okay. But when you research that address, it actually looks like it could be the post office. It's like a big warehouse mm -hmm. next to a post office. Okay. The return address is nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there except hidden within the uh, the postage stamp is a uh, zip code for Dallas. Okay. Or you can fax your response, and that is a Dallas phone number as well, okay. which is a number you can't track mm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of taking you around in circles, and you don't w know which way to go. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. When, you, when you're thinking about sending your money to people and to things, you really want to make sure that they're a legitimate business. So you got to be able to track, do they have a physical address? Do they you know, have a phone number? Is it someone who you can talk to to just kind of confirm this is a, a real thing? So that's definitely a red flag. Definitely. Within the letter, there's nothing, though, that indicates a place for you can go to research by yourself. Mm -hmm. So we suggest, as we always do mm -hmm. to folks, you know, do your due diligence. Yeah. Research, research, research. Call us. Mm -hmm. Call Channel 11. Mm -hmm. Get uh, someone to assist you if you're unable to do it by yourself. 
to make sure the organization that you want to accompany yourself right. to or attach yourself to is someone that you can trust, yeah. someone you even heard of. If you go to that NeoThinks website, there's a really odd video mm -hmm. of a person that looks a little bit strange, I uh -huh. have to say, yeah. and also somewhat hypnotic. Mm -hmm. But just like your mom and dad said, if it sounds too good to be true. It probably is. It probably right? is. <laughs> All right, so All if right. you get this letter in the mail, just be aware of that. It's most likely a scam. You probably don't want to send